Hey, how's it going? So I guess we're back for another story. This one was a big eight pointer that you shot late in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. I always enjoyed that story because you had been hunting all day. We had, right? And there again, the uh, the particulars of where we were. I assume we were, uh, you know, quite a ways from camp where we usually hunt. And I don't know what brought us back. Why we're, you know, you 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 think that if you get snow on the ground up in that area, there's quite a few deer. You wouldn't be in a truck. You no. know, you'd be out in the woods uh, on a track or whatever. But for whatever reason, we were, and we had I, we had gone by the camp driveway, and we were headed towards another section of woods and uh, you can see where a deer come down and then you can see it in the vehicle tracks so we said well that's that's fresh but uh, it, two, was, was it, two o'clock? it was late in the I can't remember the time but it was late in the it wasn't there you weren't gonna have a lot of time to uh, to chase the deer but I did I, I get out and I I started up uh, went up a pretty good ridge I remember I was tracking it. It came into a, a I believe a doe and a fawn or a couple fawns and you could see where the, the other deer, the doe and the fawns had taken off running. And I think I, I just started in. Did on you a, jump them up? Yeah, think? yeah, so no, yeah, he went and found them and I tracked them right and I, yeah, they were running from me. They, they heard me coming and I just remember looking up and he was standing broadside looking at me. And I and this was a I I tried to get the trigger off and the safety yeah the yeah exactly the the safety and it was frozen Jeez, and I God. couldn't get it pushed over to the I remember there was a, a few minutes of panic there when I couldn't get the uh, <laughs> I couldn't he was standing there looking at me at close range at really close in the woods you know we weren't in an opening or anything we were in the woods and he was standing there looking at me I finally did I I pushed the safety over and uh, pulled up and shot and he took off and I remember I. I followed him up a little skid trail that he was going up, and he had gone over a blowdown, and there, there he lay, just on the other side of a, a little log there, a little blowdown. And by then, it was it was getting dark. It by the time the I, by the time I dressed him off, and uh, I took my coat off and put my coat over it, because I figured, well, he's staying here the night. And I I went back to camp. I got picked up. They were they were driving the road there looking for me. Yeah. I can remember I had a. I had a garbage bag there with the heart and liver in it. Didn't some guys go out that night? They did. I got back to the camp and I told them I, I was tired. I said, well, I, you know what? It was dark, pitch dark by the time we get back to camp. And I said, you know what? That deer will be fine right where it lies tonight. There's no sense in any of us going out there and, you know, tripping and falling all through the woods at night trying to get that deer off that ridge. So, but they insisted, they said, you just tell us where to show us your tracks. We'll go up. And so we did, we went back up in there and, uh, and I didn't drag, they, they drug it out. I was, I was one tired pup there <laughs> that, uh, and that was just over, I think that was 202. That was, a, that was a cold week. Yeah, that was Maybe, cold. Because that deer yeah. froze solid. Yeah. We got a picture did. of us. When you yeah. came back you, home. You and Brittany riding the deer there, yeah. we stood it up. Was that the year that we also had an earthquake? I think it might have been, Paul. And uh, one of the guys, I think it was Dale, was laying in bed. Didn't he cut a joke about the camp was shaking? The camp was shaking. The coyotes are hauling we the deer had, off the, uh, off the game know, board I think it may have been Kevin. Said the coyotes are pulling the deer off the the cane pole. We we didn't know what was going on. I mean, we had no idea. So we we found out later. We did. We had a we had an earthquake. earthquake. Yeah, that was a nice deer. Yeah, yeah. The that's camp. the only deer that I hung up upside, upside down. down. Why'd you hang it upside down? Oh, I read the Benoit's book. They said it was, you were supposed to hang him by their feet, not their not their head, because they're too majestic. I'm early sure. in the week you shot that one or Yeah, I think that was fairly early. Obviously if it froze Yeah. Froze yeah. solid. Yeah, I had to bring that inside to skin it. I had to bring it in the cellar there right. through I the little door, door yeah. and uh, and uh, warm it up a little bit to skin it. Do you remember how cold it was? I don't right that... I don't. Because we had one year at camp. I know we've had days like well minus below, eighteen. We've I had. Want to say. We've had. We've I think had, Kevin had said minus seven, but for some reason I recall seeing minus yeah. eighteen. Yeah. And that was that year. 
the thoroughfare that we were staying at had frozen over. Yeah. And the deer were going across. Going across, it, yeah. Heading to the yard. That was yeah. a cold week. Yeah. It, was, it made it hard hunting. We saw, saw a lot of deer that week, but. Yeah. Yeah, that was nice here. I always like that story. Right at the end of the day. Yeah, it was at the end of the day. See a big buck. And I, and I was tired. I can staring remember being, at you. yeah. They'd all just do that, Paul. Walk up. Where you can see him. You just walk in. He was broadside. Don't remember much brush being between. We were in the woods, but I don't remember much being in between us. He was standing there broadside. I was shooting at the right side of the deer. He's and, probably thinking, why did you scare those other deer away? <laughs> yeah, oftentimes, and I've done that a few times when the, when the bucks and the does get together, the does will take off and the buck, for whatever reason, they'll stand around and want to see what, uh, you know. <laughs> It's different. I think they're, like we were talking earlier about the coyotes, I think they've impacted the deer behavior for, you know. Oh, it's, definitely. It's, it's definitely not as easy as it, uh, as it once was, I, I believe. They're, they're an animal that are being chased a lot more than when I was young. And they like to use water. They do, their, yeah. They will definitely, benefit, which, yeah, whether you know, they're like wounded this... or pressed hard, they, they will yeah. use water. And there's a there's an adage that I've I've heard that deer like water and hate ice and coyotes hate water and love ice. Yeah. So, well, they, they deer attract this year. He, yeah. He spent a lot of time in water. Crossed a brook. Yeah. And then went across another brook like four yeah. times, back and forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth. And then when he realized I was still there, it was to the lake. Yeah. We kind of got bigger, big, bigger bodies of water, yeah. big, bigger bodies yeah. of water. Yeah, I always like your stories. There's a lot of good stories that uh, not not just myself, but the guys I hunted with there. Oh God, yeah. There's so many stories over yeah. over so many years. And, uh, yeah, and they're not all deer stories. All no, of deer that get away. Yeah. As a kid, listening to all those stories at deer camp. Yeah. yeah. And I think I would notoriously ask every year at deer camp, "What was that story again?" About yeah. you just yeah. like hearing them. Yeah. It gets you all fired up. For... No, I couldn't do that because my my dad didn't have any. Uh, he only had deer stories of other people shooting deer, yeah. or uh, maybe him seeing a deer here yeah. or there. But uh... well, you have a, you have an interesting story with him that there was a you had shot a deer. Yeah, I was with him and right across from the camp. There was that a was, huge buck. Yeah, that he was, thought it was a moose. Yeah, that Just was started. that was back in the day when there was quite a few deer there right across uh, the camp road. And uh, they yarded there. And you, so if you went in there at the end of November, Thanksgiving week, and there was snow on the ground, there was tracks all through there. It was a barnyard. And yeah, we had gone in there. I shot a deer early in the year, and it was a little deer. It was early in my hunting career, and it was just a little deer, and I was in there with him. Because he wouldn't have been in there if it wasn't for me. He, he'd probably been back at the camp having a... Having a scotch. Having a, a scotch by, by the fire. <laughs> But we went in there, and uh, and I remember we were we were in the woods, and I and I saw a movement, and I looked, and I see a rock, and the, my first thought, the rock, I thought, well, there's a moose over there, and it was a big buck. It was a it was a boy. He had a big rock on him, but it was just standing there looking at us. And as I remember, it was a ways down in the woods, and we couldn't I couldn't see a lot of it, you know, that I couldn't see the entire deer. But that took off, and uh, and I remember we. We followed the track, and we didn't follow it very far, but we came right to my uh, brother-in-law, Wayne. Okay. He was in that area. We walked right up to him. said, did you see it? No, no, I never saw oh, it. Said, well, well, this is the deer right here. We just saw him. Oh, good, yeah. yeah. I, I like that story. That was a good one. So maybe a few more. Who knows? Yeah. So until next time, get outside. That's the console. See ya.